And now for the Monero development segment. What's up? <laughs> hey, Douglas. How's it going, man? Thanks, thanks for doing this. This is a this is an exciting one to start off with. Bring, bring you back to Dev Report. Yes, the first Dev Report for me. Yeah, good to see you again. Hey. So uh, yeah, what do you what do you got for us today? Are we gonna are we gonna do a atomic swap on Samurai? Uh, we try. We will try. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I have never done any atomic swap, and I don't know how it even works under the hood but yeah let's try it but uh, first um let's have the dev report and i will give you a report of the what's happened in the last two weeks oh fantastic do you have a uh, do you have a screen you want to share yes i am gonna share my screen a little presenter up Awesome. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So I'm starting here on GitHub. Uh, this is my GitHub account. You can find it uh, here. And then on the stars, I have prepared a Monero specific list uh, with all uh, 193 repositories with all uh, Monero, Monero related projects. And they are all open source. Not every of them is still on the active development, but um, yeah, that's where I follow all the things that are happening with Monero and projects around Monero. What are what are what are some of the top active ones right now? Um, yeah, for sure. The libraries are the libraries for Rust, uh, PHP, TypeScript, Java. They are all getting updates uh, recently. And other projects are updated regularly as well, like LMDB, RandomX, and uh, the Monero projects themselves, or even Feather Wallet, uh, was just updated. You know, so. Um, it's really nice to see that projects are active under development. Now, th this is a list that you created, or this is? Yes, I, I created this list. Um, oh, fantastic. From, from time to time, when uh, I see another new project, I will add it to them. Very cool, very cool. We got to get XMR Bazaar up there. Yeah, yeah. So the first project I saw is from I Anonymous 3000. I saw him on Twitter on, um, on X and he's always talking about Monero and now he started a project that's named Awesome Monero Guide and it's an introduct introduction to Monero. It's uh, like he says a beginner's guide from where to download a wallet and how to create a wallet, where to get Monero, how to transact, where to stay informed and some tips and tricks. And I think that's a really nice project because in under one hour, you can go to through the whole guide and mm. be almost an expert. Yeah. For beginners, uh, it's a perfectly good starting point. Yeah, this would be good to turn into a video or something, right? Like a tutorial or like yeah. a... Yeah. Mm. Very cool. Absolutely. Yeah. And the second project is from myself and is called Awesome Monero. It's <laughs> very similar to this one, actually. And I think I he his project is older than mine. But uh, I started this earlier, but I just published it. It's um, a list of um, Monero projects. Like most of the things you'll find here are on GitHub and they link to repositories and sometimes to websites. So 
do, do we have do you have Monero Noto on there? Did we did we make the list on there yet, or there's nothing? Uh... Uh, it's not on the list because okay. it's not uh, ready yet. I think most of the things are finalized, um, but not maybe here. Future development. I, I included also the uh, future projects of uh, Monero. Awesome. This is a great, great list. Mm -hmm. It's a great list. If you're a developer, you can have a look here at uh, all the libraries for the different uh, programming languages. Do you have like directories too, like Monerica on there and stuff? Mm, yes, somewhere. Maybe. Merchants, maybe under merchants. Merchants, yeah, Monerica. Yeah, nice. Also, uh, sometimes I, I only link uh, the repository, but sometimes it makes sense to also link the website. You should link all the all the Monero accepting dark markets with the onion address. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, let's you stay legal on, I mean, on the accepting Monero. I mean, come on. I, I already have the decentralized use, 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 it your own, use it your own risk, but you're just stating facts. Hmm. So yeah, I think that's also a very nice addition. Okay, the next project. I don't know if you know Nivico. Have you guys heard of Nivico? No, I have not. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. Nivico stands for... Ne Nevid <laughs> Nevideibla Economia, which stands for Invisible Economy. I have no okay. idea. It might be Esperanto. Or... Okay. Maybe the Monero people. So make things as confusing as possible. What is this? <laughs> it is a marketplace mm -hmm. and it's end to end encrypted it's based on gpg so public and private key cryptography mm -hmm. and it hides your network um, via the i2p uh, network oh wow and it has messaging so i think you can that's actually think, really cool think of like maybe that's like a decentralized market like a darknet market mm -hmm. or i think there was also this project open bazaar yes but I, but I think it's dead yeah uh i think it's being worked on again i'm not sure what happened with open bazaar that was okay. a really good point cat <laughs> focus thing. but i think they're trying to bring it back mm -hmm. so i haven't tried this I what, think is it, what does it say about it says you can just go up, uh, send messages, vanity base, automator. I think this is the most interesting because mm -hmm. I think we have already messaging over I2P. We already have. Uh, yeah, it's basically an open source dark market, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Very, um, very cool. It's uh, uncensorable. You, you cannot censor this market hmm. and now so is this is this up and running is this live this is fully i don't know i think I there's another be... one uh another one that's being built maybe this is the one um that i've heard being mentioned hmm. that's called net what isn't there a narrow or maybe that maybe i'm confusing that with something else so it I seems think... like they they have made a release last year and yeah, maybe I can get it up running. And if it's something working, I can show it next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So the next project is Bitcoin Cash, Monero Swaps. And I don't know much about this project. I haven't Ooh, read is that Also an atomic swap. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mm, okay, the video is playing. I don't know. Let's try again. Uh, 
Oh, no. No, the screen share has ended. Yeah, we lost your screen share there. Let me add it back. There it goes. There we go. Not sure how old this project is. I haven't heard of it. <clears throat> I think there might be even two atomic swap projects with Bitcoin Cash. Two different implementations of atomic swaps? Yes. Now, are these, I wonder, are these similar to the Bitcoin? to Monero atomic swap implementations? Basically like a uh, same like copy of them? I, I, I would guess so because <clears throat> it wouldn't make much common. sense yeah. to develop a own implementation or a own underlying swapping protocol mm -hmm. because Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin still share lots of similarities. Do we know if this is uh, actively being used or not really it's just kind of been tested? I, I just stumbled it, about it today on my research. Okay. And I'm pretty excited for later when we try our atomic swaps, but I have already heard that it it takes a lots of time. Okay. Maybe, maybe we need like three hours. <laughs> oh my god! Well, we we, 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 we <laughs> I see Shadow Rumble getting nervous. There, we we can start, <laughs> we can start the process and then you know move on with the show and then if it completes, yeah. it completes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's due to um, Bitcoin's slow transactions. Goddamn Bitcoin. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. Ten, 10 minute blocks. Yeah. The quality here is not the best, but I think that swap just worked. What are you trying to bring up now? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let's keep an eye, an eye on this project as well. And Let's get to the main Monero project, so the official one. Um, I have I don't have much to tell you. There was no release, but uh, we see some activity on the master branch. And let's have a look at the pull requests, uh, the ones that got closed. Um, it's very technical here. I cannot tell you much, but it seems like there's there are some bug fixes. Nothing too much interesting here, but on the Monero website, uh, this is the official project. Um, I saw some merge requests that uh, got merged, and things like uh, the merchant page on getmonero.org, they rem they did not remove side shift yet, but they removed. Oh, where is it? I th ah, yeah, no, it's an open one. They mm. want to delist finance. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, side shift from... also uh, job support for Monero quite a while ago. Mm. Yeah. And I think uh, we should remove Binance from oh, yeah. this site. I, I don't know. I, I think they st are still listing Monero, but I think it's not. Uh, Who cares? Binance deserves to be gotten rid of. No <laughs> one likes Binance. Yeah, it's a good yeah, thing. That's what we'll see later in the news, right? Where, we're t where was it in Finland that they uh, supposedly traced transactions and and. I believe Binance was involved. So it, it's interesting. Like, so they're going to even, they're going to lose their ability to do these eval attacks. It's, it's kind of, 
very contrary to what you think. Yeah, one of the uh, that's like the main there. way that they can attack Monero, right? They're, yeah, the, of, they're, they're helping us get rid of the one yeah. <laughs> attack. Yeah, the, the one main way that they can do it. <laughs> it's it's we we shouldn't uh, make advertisements for Binance on the official side. <laughs> it's I think it's a good idea to not recommend it and instead add uh, merchants like Basic Swap Dex, which yes. are do next year is going to be no more centralized exchanges listed. It's just going to be DEXs listed. Mm. Hopefully, yeah. let's hope. So the next project is uh, Gupax. It's uh, the GUI application for mining Monero. It's the most easy software to get starting mi uh, with mining Monero. And they had a release yesterday and they just updated uh, the dependencies cool. and fixed a bug. So if any of you listeners hasn't mined Monero ever or yet, just search for QPAX and start <laughs> mining Monero today. I'm gonna. I, I haven't tried it out yet, Gupax. I'm gonna give that a go actually today. Yeah, Gupax is cool. It's a really great, easy way to just start mining. Super easy to just yeah, P2 pool mine. And it's more right. optimized. It applies the MSR optimizations that Monero GUI doesn't. If you give it like uh, root permission. Yes. Right, you, and you don't have to set up the whole P2 pool miner with my you're running a separate chain or whatever and figuring that out. Like it just auto does everything. No, I mean it's still recommended to run your own full node for mining P2 pool, but you can it lets you do a remote node for P2 pool if you want to. Right. That's awesome. So and the last project for today is Cooprate. And I don't know if you have talked about Cooprate on Monero Topia yet, but uh, I think it's awesome. Yeah. And let me show you. So Cooprate is just a, another implementation of the Monero protocol. So we have our Monero project, um, like the official one, which is uh, written in C++, but um, it's always good to have a alternative uh, Monero node that is written in some other language and maybe maintained from other developers. So we have more decentralization. So uh, if the official one has a security bug or a another bug inside of it, uh, we still have Kubernetes nodes who are uh, who will be um, facilitating the Monero network. Because um, with more and more different different implementations, uh, the network will get more stable. So, Just jumping yes. in here, somebody's saying to incorporate Gupax set up in Monero Nodo. Um, yeah, I mean we're we're gonna have we're gonna be uh, I think we're gonna be using our own implementation for that to just easily mine on the Nodo plug and play uh, using P2 pool. So it might be a bit redundant there, but yeah, good, good thinking. Sorry, man, go ahead. So this is, this is just a new, a, a new way to, to run a note. It's, it's built in rust, right? Right. But it's another, um, another format for run, for running a, a, a Monero node. Yeah. So they take uh, the whole Monero protocol, like how should the uh, node run? How does the node connect to other nodes? How do they find each other? How does block syncing work, blockchains storing and communicating with the blockchain mining and all this stuff they are implementing in a whole another programming language, which is a huge task. It will take years, but um, yeah. Let's um, follow this project. And uh, yeah, even I, I just saw it now. Luke Parker is a contributor. I, I don't know. Oh, and there's a Gupax guy. Yeah. So, what, oh, what is okay. the advantage? I guess because it's just it's better to run things in Rust. I mean, uh, uh, being non technical, uh, what, what things are Things are moving towards Rust by default because it's like memory safe. It kind of forces you to write better code. Um, 
and it's memory safe as long as you don't go out like purposely ignore its memory safety functions and features so what like what other components of monero need to be re rewritten in rust like so this is going to be a way to Monero to... core libraries um i believe are what is uh part Luke, luke's also working on okay. in rust right so rust is rising in monero development i see this we i think we already have two or maybe even three different libraries to interact with uh, Monero in Rust. And more and more projects are building on Rust because, like you said, it's safe. It's very fast, almost as fast as C or C++, which is a huge win. That and is a huge win. The language itself is logical and not too hard to learn. Yeah. So the entry barrier is much lower than learning C++. And I think younger developers are more learning Rust more than C or C++. So I think for the Have future, you done any Rust yeah. yourself, Hundehausen? I have, <laughs> I have made a tutorial. I, I start, started uh, working on it and um, I really enjoyed it, but I haven't done any further programming with it. But I think um, it ticks a lot of boxes for a good uh, developer experience. Okay, so now let's um, try the atomic swaps. No oh boy. Guys. Are you guys yeah. ready? Here we go. I'm bracing. Yeah, let's let's see if we could see yeah, at least start it, start it up, spark it up. Yep. Okay. I'll start my screen share again. All right. Okay. I already downloaded the samurai swaps GUI and I have started it. Um Maybe let me show you how I started it because I had to unzip it and then I got this folder mm -hmm. and then there are two another folders, uh, bin and lib, and then this uh, this, oh, this is a Java app. The, yeah, it's written in Java and it's uh, this one and you have to right click it open on macOS and then you get this. Awesome. This is gonna be good. So, and in the Samurai wallet on my Pixel, uh, this is my Google Pixel, with uh, Graphene, OS, Graphene OS, and it's running the latest Samurai wallet. And I have already loaded some Bitcoin onto it. And here I can go in the settings under transactions and pair to swap GUI. And then it generates like a invitation message. I already copied, copied that message onto my MacBook. And uh, we're going to paste um, this payload into this field. And then I will uh, uh, type my password here. I, I set up on the Samurai wallet. So that's how they connect together. Oh wait. Okay, interesting. So, explain that again, real quick. That's that's. So you're you're running your samurai wallet right on, on your on your phone. Yes. Now... This this is my phone here. I I can control my phone here from okay. from, from the Mac. And so from your phone, uh, from the app on your phone, you generated uh, a pairing code. Yes. Okay. And it shows a QR code or. Uh, the text I have pasted here. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess there's a secret inside of it. That's why I'm not showing it. And now I can log in onto the swapping GUI. And I have ticked this start ASB. Not really sure what it means. I think AS is atomic swap and B, not sure. And I think it has to do something with uh, providing liquidity on Mon the Monero side. Uh, what we are doing today is 
um, selling Bitcoin and receiving Monero. But I think if you're doing it the other way around, it might be more complicated, but uh, not sure about that. Have you guys ever seen Atomic Swaps uh, live in action? Uh, we did test. I thought we, we did a while ago. I don't know. I thought we did. Not. A, I haven't seen the Samurai implementation of it. So yeah, they're, I haven't checked out the Samurai one yet either. They're using Commit, right? Comet, right? Oh, yes. Yes, uh, yeah. the Comet protocol. Right. Um, and so, yeah, we, we, we could talk about Oh, they that. are. That's cool. Yeah. So yeah. they've detected that back up. Right. So they're using that. Um, yeah, my, my understanding is you have to initiate it from the Bitcoin side, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Bitcoin side is always the, the maker, right? The, I don't think they it goes in the other direction. You can't initiate an atomic swap from the narrow side. It's my understanding, I think. All right? Mm -hmm. So we started it, the GUI. And now we can enter a Monero address in the seller's text field. So we are, okay. not, we are not the seller. We, we buy Monero, but uh, it's a it's little, little bit complicated. Uh, I am both sides. I am uh, selling Monero. Uh, I am selling Bitcoin and receiving Monero. And receiving Bitcoin and receiving Monero yeah. <laughs> in the same time. Yeah. So, uh, to make it more easy, let's send the Monero to the Monero General Fund address. Okay, so you're effect you're effectively trading your Bitcoin for Monero, and instead of it being sent to your own personal wallet, it's going to be sent to the Monero donation address. Yes. So, where where can I find it? Is it here somewhere? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Could you? Uh, there you go. Yes. The general fund. Awesome. Or do I have to do it like this? The only thing is you can't now you can't you can't check on right on the wallet oh, to see when you receive the transaction on the Monero side. Oh, we can see it because it gets reported. Uh, oh, you just see the view key for it, or mm -hmm. yeah. but uh, look here, it fails to connect to Whirlpool, hmm. and when it doesn't connect to Whirlpool, we cannot <laughs> we cannot do. So Swaps, it connected it earlier this morning. But maybe maybe TDEV is censoring us. He doesn't want us using uh, his, <laughs> his tool. <laughs> TDEV is trying to censor us again. OK, let's do this. Starting flame wars, are we? <laughs> <laughs> it's just too easy. The guy is the most bitter dude in in crypto. Gonna try it, try it again. Mm. It'd be nice to get T Dev or one of the samurai guys here, like uh, in the comments or something. Oh, dude, this man knows what's up. He's using Scarcity and Local Send. <laughs> All the best FOSS software for Android. <laughs> okay, so I got another one, another secret. So this did not work. So now I have to delete uh, a folder in my so file what, system. What, what failed? It, it didn't. What what didn't initiate? It didn't initiate the um, whirlpool. Hmm. 
So it could just be like a connection issue or something or? I don't even know why we need a whirlpool for this. Hmm. You know, it's uh, it's still a be beta version. Mm. Yeah, if anybody, any samurai experts want to uh, jump in and help out, we could we could go back to it. Need the samurai devs come on right now. Show us <laughs> they, want, they want nothing to do with it. I tried getting them to come on the uh, show. Oh, really? So that it's just like a, a, a no go. There's no way. Yeah, I don't really on. understand. Well, yeah, what's going on? T Dev got all pissed because we had um, what's it? Nopara on the show. Oh, we really? should have. We should have Nopara come on and do, do the atomic swap using Samurai. T-Dev will explode. Um, yeah, so he got all pissed off at that. And and then I was like uh, talking about getting them on to come talk about atomic swap. They, they like shut down the conversation. I don't know if the other Samurai swap guy still likes us. Weird. It would be free promotion for their atomic swap system. Yeah, they, mm. they've always, uh, I don't know, I've had a thing for Which is too, I don't, I too much of a mean and nasty person, Doug. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I don't know. Years ago, it was like, it was very nice. It was like really great. And then uh, there's, a, it's the T Dev guy. The other guy, they, they, they play like good cop, bad cop. There's like the, the lead guy, and he's, he's kind of nice when he, when he interacts with you. And then there's T Dev, who's just like, you know, he's the pit bull. I don't really get the purpose of that. But that's ha have you ever done whirlpool with Bitcoin? I've never used Samurai. I've never I've never messed around with Bitcoin privacy. I remember back when I was getting into yeah, the thing, I don't follow it closely thing. either. So I didn't real like I know there's always there's drama between them and uh what it wasabi, but I didn't realize, like it's like like so bitter and toxic, it's like crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't follow the ecosystem that that closely in the Bitcoin privacy stuff. Hmm. I um, wanted to try it because I've never tried it, and I don't want to talk about things that I haven't tried. So I wanted to um, coin join some Bitcoin. I think it was four UTXOs or four outputs, mm -hmm. and they had this. Um, a reduction of the price ongoing uh, earlier this year for I think 50% uh, cutoff. So I got this voucher from Samurai. And oh, yeah, wait. Okay, go ahead. And still, it uh, should cost uh, $150. Ooh. Yeah, I remember right. when I was getting back into crypto privacy a couple of years ago, I was going to use Whirlpool on Samurai to, uh, like, air quote, clean the Bitcoin and swap it to Monero. But the it was so expensive. I was like, no, nah, this is just not going to I'm I'm not I don't have this kind of money to just constantly be wasting on fees. So, yeah, see, Zach, why would you give a platform to a guy that is surveilling and censoring? So he's referring to me having Nopara on the show. So he, this is one of the the samurai tribesmen, one of, one of, mm. one of the members of the cult. <laughs> Dude, can, Zach, jump up on the, on the thing. We can, we can talk about it. Um, so, I mean, they're, they're trying to, like, chill speech. I get that they don't like the guy, but I have a show about technology in the digital cash space so why would i not allow him to come on my show and like talk about his tech i mean i think uh, one guy from x uh, his name is poke kst I, i'm not sure if he's uh, the creator of miso wallet or something like this but he said uh, the work pool who didn't connect earlier was um the back end being temporarily down. Oh, and, okay. And we had a bad timing, but now it seems to be working. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. So we want to buy Monero. And here are some 
sellers for Monero. And I think we don't have enough Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> None of us have Bitcoin to, to sell. Yeah, I think I would need more Bitcoin. <laughs> oh no. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, we cannot try it now. But um, we can have a first look at the user interface, which will be very different later. I saw this, um, they wrote about this. It will look uh, much more easy and user friendly later. This is just a user interface for developers. So wait, I, um, so you can't, so where's, where's your, big, you posted your Bitcoin, we could see you now as a seller? No, on this so, list on the right, what it, explain to us what okay. we're looking at here. So these are people who are selling Monero for okay. Bitcoin. Okay. And, and so we, you can't, you can't be listed as somebody selling Bitcoin for Monero. There's not a, I don't know how it's, right. how, how, how it works. Yeah. Okay. So can you, can you post Monero on the, on the seller side? You want to do that and see if somebody takes your. I don't know if I need uh, this ASB automated swap backend for this. You know, I, I I'm a really I'm really a noob on, on yeah. all this. <laughs> it's it's kind of good because we're we're learning it all together, but um maybe maybe we give this another shot we give this another shot uh we'll, we'll move on we'll bring shadow rebel up yeah yeah. If you want to look into things as we're doing that and then we can try to re retry it 